Father, it is time. Your victory draws near. The ranks of Legion are replenished. The acolytes stand ready. No more soldiers now trespass in our home. And Sector 7 is ashes. You will soon take your rightful place at his side. No, Mother. No. My rightful place is not at his side, but upon his throne. He sought to cast me aside, to drown me in an ocean of shadows, an ocean of demons. But I, I did not sink. I did not drown. I rose from the waters of despair and misery And now I walk on the surface once more. What do you see out there, Mother, beyond? Blackness. The blackness the draftsman brought into all our lives to shatter our faith. Oh, Mother, sweet fool, open your eyes. Go past the blackness. Look with better eyes. Now, what do you see? Our reflections. Our faces reflected on the glass. Staring back (laughs) at us. My face, mother. My face. My face imposed across the universe, across the quantum sphere, across all of time and space. Judging. Judging creation itself. The age of oneness. The age of unity dawns this day, Mother. My time has come. fireplace. It is dark. We'll get Eris back, Teresa. We won't stop fighting until we do. First, we must survive our encounter with Father. I am not optimistic. Like Brick said, we've got miles to go. Astrid, you are my friend. Yes, always. Is there something wrong with me? Why would you ask that? Am I a good friend? A good mother to Eris? Of course. If this is about what the dark matter entity showed you, it wasn't real. That thing takes every insecurity inside you and twists it around until you're in knots. Have I failed, Eris? Is she now in this predicament because of my actions? I don't know what any of us could have done differently. And Teresa, you're not going to end up alone. Thank you, Astrid. I miss her. I know. Me too. I've got to go get Sam and bring him to the War Council in Bill's lab. Want to come along? I would prefer not to. I feel anger and rage toward him over his treatment of Eris. 
I do not trust myself right now. Oh, I get it. I've seen the way he looks at you. He's not exactly subtle. He is not. But, you know, it's something you can use. His feelings for you, they keep him in line. In fact, they may be the only thing keeping him in line. I shall consider your words, Astrid. TJ, I need to talk to you. Really? Need someone to bore with your latest scientific theory? We haven't talked about it. In fact, I think we've both been avoiding talking about it. But we're family. Don't remind me, Pops. Family means a lot to me, TJ. Your mom, Samantha. How is she? Oh, I get it. You're asking how she is, not how I am. She's fine. Want to ask me about my dad? No, I really don't. Well, he's great. Better than great. Terrific, actually. You can hate him all you want, but he's the president for life of the United States of America. And he nailed your daughter. Okay. I guess you're not ready to have this conversation. But if you ever want to talk, really talk. Oh, and why would I? Do you want to know what school I went to? What grades I got? What I majored in? Jeez. As soon as this mission is over and we have a working smart house again, I am so out of here. And I hope to never see you again. The Clarks are friggin' freak shows. TJ, we're connected. Whether you like it or not. Oh, you mean whether you like it or not, don't you? Well, I'll let you off the hook, Grandpa. You reached out. You did your duty. You can go back to brooding now and boning Astrid. I'm fine. I hope so. But are you sure? Maybe we should talk about your father. Oh, you want to go there? I do. Because right now, I have no idea what the future will bring. I don't know where any of us will be in a day. Travis is part of my family. It hasn't been easy, but I do accept that. Sure you do. You know, I've been thinking a lot lately about shadows. The shadows we've seen and the shadows that have remained hidden. As human beings, we have to accept those parts of ourselves that we don't like. Give it a rest. Right. Well, I'll, uh, I'll see you at War Council. I'll be there. Having fun all by your lonesome in here, Sam? Astrid. Wow. You've never called me that before. I figured it was time. Since you saved me from the fiery pit of hell and all. What we saw there was pretty intense. I had no idea that you tried to kill yourself. Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. We're not trauma buddies. You've got to face what you did, Sam. Or what you tried to do. Otherwise, you'll never be able to move past it. Is that what you did? Move past it? I think so. Finally. After what feels like forever. Well, I don't need to be on suicide watch or whatever this is supposed to be. It's humiliating. Don't take it personally. We also don't trust you. You're still a strategic risk, according to Sergeant Brick. Thanks. I was hoping Teresa would come with you. I'm sure you were. Not gonna happen, Sam. Now move it. Well, the gang's all here. For the last time, you mean? Does everyone understand the plan? We can't afford any mistakes. We know the plan, Bill. We just don't like it. Especially the part where we let Father believe he's beaten us. Arlo, no matter what Father does, don't intervene. 
You can't utilize your abilities, or it's check and mate. When I've used them before, it's been almost like an instinct. Once it starts, I can't stop it. Try to think about baseball or something. Arlo, you need only remember your lessons from our meditation sessions, and you will be fine. Take a time out. Don't hold grudges. Forgive. Own your anger. Recognize the source. I am proud of you, Arlo. You have learned much. Right. Right. Are you okay, Arlo? I guess I just wonder how many times in my life I'll have to choose between creation and destruction. That's called being human. We all make that choice every day. Yeah, I think I read that in a fortune cookie once. Well, I don't like the plan. At least not our part. TJ and I will have it easy compared to the rest of you. You'll be cannon fodder. Oddly, I'm okay with that. Well, we don't have a lar to create illusions for us this time, Sergeant. And we don't have Arlo to launch an attack either. We must win this engagement with smoke and mirrors. So it's on us, and only us. Exactly why I don't like it. For one thing, you have no idea how or when the Dark Matter entity is going to open the portal to take Father away. If the entity doesn't cooperate, you guys are going to be left holding the bag. At Father's mercy. He doesn't have any, which means that some of us are going to die. Probably in really horrible ways. I know who I'm voting for. Aw, if only your father could see you now. Oh, that's right, he can. He just doesn't want to. You want to take this outside? Knock it off, both of you. This isn't the time to fight. We each have a role to play if we want to get Eris back. And save the multiverse. And now we're wasting precious time. TJ, Brick, you have the telemeters. Time to go. I hear you. We're ready. Good luck, Brick. You too, TJ. We got your back, Astrid. Take care of Pops. Ms. Bravado, little lady, kid, Dr. Clark, don't take any chances. Now the rest of us. We need to prepare. Teresa, have you been able to make contact with Father's Everett branch? Without Alar here to assist, it was most difficult, but the bridge to vitality is built. My counterpart, the Teresa in Father's reality, is assisting me. Tell her I said hi. We need all the friends we can get. Now we just have to convince Father we're playing chess. When we're really playing poker. That's the plan. My friends, I believe there is one more task we must undertake. I need you all to accompany me to the loft. This is the house at the end of the universe? Kind of a dump, huh? Watch your mouth. You're standing in Arlo's famous kitchen. State of the art. For 1987. Let's move. And keep it down. Maybe we should split up in case we get caught. At least one of us can complete the mission. I'll take the second floor. I know the terrain better. Remember, we need robes. And to hide any bodies that we take out. I know the drill. Why does everyone feel the need to lecture me? Because you don't listen for shit, kid. Remember, we need to avoid a firefight if possible. If I get Grandpa Hitler in my sights, I'm taking the kill shot. That's not the plan. We made a deal. With the devil? Exactly. If Eris gets trapped in hell, we can just build another. What's the difference? Stow that talk, all right? And remember, if anything happens to one of us... I know, I know. We're each expendable. I get it. My friends, eyes closed, palms up. Uh, are we gonna link? All of us? Do you think this will work, Teresa? Our recent experience in the dark matter dimension reminded me that, instrumentation or not, we possess the ability to shape our environment. Parapsychism? Precisely. The theory that the mind is at the root of all, and that the material universe, our senses even, are the manifestations of our consciousness. Our minds create the shape of the multiverse. Self-simulation. The theory is sound, but at Project Habitat, the key was instrumentation. Technology was necessary to augment the user's ability to harness the powers of the smart house. 
Yet at least a few individuals apparently possessed the power to manipulate reality without such instrumentation. Me and Arlo, right? The so-called psychic bodyguards? Indeed. But I can't use my powers. We made a deal with the devil. But we didn't make any deal regarding Astrid. Is that what you're getting at, Teresa? Yes. Astrid's abilities appear inactive at present, but together we may possess the key to igniting them. Or more aptly, reigniting them. At least for a short time. Hold up. You think I can do the whammy? Far out. Historically, we know that this is the case. You are out of body experience in 1974. But don't we need a functioning smart house? Alar? Eris is gone. That is the notion we must explore now. So, this circle, this link, we establish a cathexis, a union, spurring Astra's abilities? Each of us possesses unique gifts. A quantum imprimatur marks us as being of or belonging to one specific branch of reality. But within that reality, our individual souls, our animus or anima, our prana, shapes our reality. Bill, this is the part where you object based on scientific principles. I caught the vibe, but this time I can't. There is a theory in physics called quantum monism. In broad terms, it's another name for Teresa's parapsychism. Basically, it's the idea that fundamental reality is not a random conglomeration of individual separated particles, but rather a single entangled quantum state. It's the idea that no matter the Everett branch we inhabit, we are all part of a larger integrated quantum system. You're saying we're not really separate from one another. Yes, Arlo. We are all connected. We are perpetually entangled with one another, and even with creation itself. We are connected to individuals we do not know, in places we have never been, in times we did not witness and will not witness. And this connection stretches across all of time and space. We are not a billion individuals operating separately, but cells in a massive body, each fulfilling a unique role in that system. Yet he is not far from each of us. Astrid? The body is a unit, though it is made of many parts. And though its parts are many, they form one body. So it is with Christ. Amen, sister, and pass the communion wine. It's the same idea, isn't it? The whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Yes. However, each part, facet, and cell of this larger system is unique unto itself and needed. Destroy one of those facets and something wonderful, something unique, a piece of the whole is lost forever. Such loss is a grievous injury to the totality, to the body. Dresden, you mean. What? Dresden, or any other atrocity that mankind commits. What Father is doing to the multiverse now, collapsing reality so that only his branch remains. Don't you see? He's not simply killing individuals. He's killing pieces of the multiverse, cells that are part of the whole body. He thinks he's destroying his shadows. But it's not that simple. Doing what he's attempting, it diminishes all of us. And it diminishes everything that exists, everywhere. Actions have consequences. Big deal. That's an axiom, isn't it? Given your recent behavior, Sam, one you would do well to learn from. And it's more than that, Sam. How we choose to fight father, to fight evil, if you will. It's not about taking the least amount of risk for some nebulous greater good. It's about preserving reality itself before the body is permanently injured. What Father is doing? It's anti-life, anti-reality, anti-God even. You're saying that Father is the Antichrist? I'm merely acknowledging that logical thought doesn't completely explain reality. I should have known. Known what? Bill, known what? That reality is an elephant. Well, now I'm lost. What does reality have to do with an elephant? The parable of the blind men and the elephant, Arlo. In that story, a group of blind men encounter an elephant and attempt to describe it by using a particular sense. Touch. But since they are each interfacing with only pieces of the elephant, they each draw a separate erroneous conclusion about its true shape. One blind man feels the trunk and believes the elephant is a snake. Another touches the elephant's leg and thinks it's a tree trunk. That's all of us. Teresa's belief in psychic powers, Astrid's view of religion, your imagination. And your science. What about my cynicism? If Teresa's parapsychism is right, if quantum monism is correct, we create the elephant. 
reality in all its multifaceted beauty and individuality, out of our differences, out of our unique viewpoints. And that's what Father is destroying. He wants to reshape reality so that only his point of view remains. Here's the problem, though. Elephants have tusks, and they never forget. There's a price, a cost, for what we're attempting here. And there are some places in reality you should never go alone. We shall not be alone. We have each other. Our different strengths compensating for our individual weaknesses. Our different viewpoints bolstering the group. We can grow Astrid's powers together. Yes, but fundamentally, reality is all about balance, Teresa. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Grow her powers now instead of allowing reality to take its course naturally, and that act is like a beacon. It's better in some cases not to be noticed. If the multiverse is a body, and something happens to one part of the body, something out of balance like the activation of Astrid's powers... The body systems react. An immune response, Sam? Like the overproduction of cytokines in the human body to fight an infection? Sometimes those cytokines overreact to a threat, to a change, and create new pathologies or diseases in the process. Exactly. If we develop this link, this cathexis as Bill calls it, we could be noticed, we could be targeted by reality itself. A force? Thomas told me that I had to hide my family from some unknown force after I manifested the tornado. We should tread very, very lightly. There is an order to the universe, and that order doesn't like being messed with. I'm sorry, but I can't be a part of this. Coward! You, of all people, should recognize the danger of tampering in God's domain. We do not have an alternative. We need Astrid to retrieve Eris. After me, you possess the most developed mental discipline, Sam. Therefore, your help is required, and you shall do as I say. You owe me. I love it when you crack the whip. All right, I'm in. Teresa, you said we need to retrieve Eris, not fight father? As Bill said, that victory must be accomplished by smoke and mirrors. My fear is that the dark matter entity will not fulfill its part of the bargain and release Eris. In your mythology, Astrid, the devil is the prince of lies. We cannot trust the entity. For one thing, we don't understand his endgame or why he seeks to have Father consigned to the dark matter dimension. So how, specifically, do we activate Astra's abilities? We link. We connect now to form the pathway, and at the right moment, we reconnect with Astrid for one sustained burst of energy. And then? And then, Astrid, you must return to Hell and bring back Eris. Oh, is that all? I know I ask much, Astrid. I... My daughter needs you. Eris came for us when we needed her. I think it's about time we returned the favor. Then let us commence. These robes are hot as hell. How do I look? Like a devil worshiper, how do you think? Black isn't really my color. I wish I picked up one of the red ones. Be quiet, somebody's coming. Put your hood up. Father, please. I cannot go on. Shh. Quiet, child, or your injuries will multiply tenfold. Acolytes, it is time. Gather at the portal. Okie dokie, we're on our way. Grandson, I ordered you to gather the acolytes and prepare the legion devices. Right, the legion devices and the alkalites. They're good. How are you? 
Remove your hood, boy. Now. Uh... Remove your hood. Sure. Are you... Well, grandson? Uh, yes, father. Uh, thank you for asking. Mother, bring me a legion device. Yes, father. Father? Shh. Patience, grandson. This shall be a test of your faith. A legion device, father, as you wish. As you know, these devices detect quantum imprimaturs other than our own, grandson. Foreign quantum imprimaturs. What will I learn about you if I activate this one? N nothing, father, nothing. Then you are an obedient servant of the Lord? Yes, always. Then let us test your words. Touch the stinger. Uh... If it's all the same to you, I'd rather not. It was not a request. Uh, go fuck yourself. We have an intruder in our midst. Acolytes! Seize him. Go to hell! A gun? You came to my house armed? Oh, how brazen! What are you going to do about it, Pops? For now, beat you within an inch of your life. Acolytes, hold the demon. It's so beautiful here. It's hard to believe it's going to be a war zone. Remember, don't resist. No matter what. Not until we're ready. Poker. Poker. I've got a pit in my stomach. Teresa, you all right? You look like... The bridge has been crossed. He's coming. All in every reality. Well, looks like someone's been busy rebuilding his army. Look, coming through now. Father, we surrender.
Look, Mother. The demons welcome us. Give them back their spy. TJ, are you alright? What happened? I think... I think he broke my ribs. The cowardly, the unbelieving, the vile, the murderers, those who practice magic arts, the idolaters, and all liars. This, the second death. Yeah, well, the wicked flee when no one pursues, but the righteous are bold as a lion. Astrid, we surrender. As you can see, we are unarmed. I do see. Kneel before me in your defeat. Bill? Do it. I will reward your obedience. Take our Teresa as a second gift. I'm afraid I broke her. She's hurt. You bastard. She's weak. Nearly dead. There's internal bleeding and organ damage. Yes. But you're a brand new model, aren't you? Oh, it will be a pleasure to break you in. Don't you touch her. Arlo, stop. Yes, Arlo, stop! I'm not afraid of you. The boy who came to my house and sought to destroy it from within. Now I am in your house. Father, we surrender. We are at your mercy. I want to hear him say it. Say it, son. I'm waiting. We... We surrender. Uh, That is just not enough. I don't like your tone. You must be taught a lesson. Then teach me the lesson. I'm ready. But leave my friends alone. I think... I think I shall do the opposite, Arlo. Because of your defiance, it is your friends who will suffer. It is they who shall be punished. No, I want you to punish me. I would never harm you, son. But you shall watch and do nothing, or their suffering will increase exponentially. Now, who wants to go first? Astrid, perhaps. Do your worst. Such rebellion, mother. Do you recognize this? A painted whore, father. As I once was, before I was born again. Indeed. Those red lips. That attire. The hair. All the trappings of the hellbound. Then again. Perhaps all you require is the kiss of a righteous man. Sure. Do you know any? Astrid! If the boy speaks out again, cut out the whore's heart. It will make a nice necklace for Mother. Who's next? Teresa, perhaps? Oh, get over yourself. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? I thought I left you to sulk in your ruined kingdom. You've defied my will twice now, brother. But if you do so again, the whore's heart most certainly gets cut out. Sam, behave yourself! Once upon a time, brother, I had a beloved pet. A loyal dog. But I had to kill him when he turned rabid. Acolytes! Bring me the chain. O fallen king of the outdwellers, This is your leash now. Get down on all fours and we shall put it around your neck. Your new crown. Chains aren't really my style. Come to my side, dog, or the whore dies. Demonstrate your obedience. Kiss my... Sam. Look at him crawl in submission, like the lowliest of creatures. Very good. Now lick my boots like a good dog. Wait! Father, I have what you want. What you need. I wondered when you would be man enough to put a stop to this. After all, there must be some of me in you. The draftsman. I know you. Seek him. I can help you. Do not trust him, Father. He is- All right, William. Share that information, and I may spare some of your friends. I need better assurances than that. Really? 
You practically beg me to kick a dog when it's down. <gasps> Look! He can roll over! Teaching an old dog new tricks isn't so difficult after all. Perhaps the dog should be gilded next. Acolytes, I require a blade. The sharpest you can find. Stop! I challenge you, here and now! There I am! There I am! The rage, the violence, the hatred. I see it all bubbling to the surface now. Why, it's just like looking in a mirror. Do you see it too, whore? Do you see me in his eyes? Bill. A chess match, father. You and me. And what would I gain from such a contest? If you defeat me, I'll take you to the draftsman. Not enough incentive, I'm afraid. Kill the whore. Wait! My friends, they'll obey you. Without further defiance or objection. We'll be all yours. Body and soul? Yes. Excellent. And if by some unfathomable miracle you win, then you leave this Everett branch and never come back. That's it? You'd wager so much for so little? Don't you want to save reality? Or at least revenge? Boring, 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 William. Now you've disappointed me again. Arlo, choose his punishment. My counterpart needs to grow a backbone. Should he be stabbed or beaten? What? Choose his punishment. Or my attention turns to lovely Teresa. It's fine, Arlo. Do it. I await your answer, son. Do it. I guess... Beat him. A fine selection. Why don't you do it? To prove your obedience to your loving father. No. I can't. I won't. Fine. If you prefer that I do it. No, wait. I'll do it. I'm sorry, Bill. No, 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 no! Son, you've got to put your whole body into it. Like so! <coughs> well, William, what say you? What do you propose now? If I win, I get to kill you. There. That's what I was looking for! Well done. Now you understand, don't you? What the draftsman believed was virtue and strength is but weakness and cowardice. I am the strong one. I agree to your terms. But first, another game. <coughs> You bastard! You didn't have to do that! No. But I really wanted to! Acolytes, take our two Teresas and this whore to a bedchamber. I will go to them after my chess match. Arlo, you go with them. You'll get to watch. And the demon with your brother's face? Tie him to a post. And if the dog does anything but bark, cut out his tongue. Yes, father. And how shall we punish the betrayer? Give the spy to the acolytes for re-education. Thy will be done. Your fallen highness, gaze at your new kingdom. Nothing but dirt and dust. Acolyte, take the leash and bind the vanquished lord to the water pump. No need to be gentle. He's only a shadow. Is that a bruise on your face, Francis May? On your cheek? Ooh, black and blue. Mind me, what does the lord say about a man who abuses his wife? Silence, heathen. His touch is a gift. Ooh, the gift that keeps on giving, it looks like. I have orders to cut your tongue out if you anger me. Hold your tongue, or I will. Fine. 
Acolyte, secure him. And then return to the field to gather the others. I must prepare Father's game. Dex? Brick? Is that you under the hood? Shh. Don't just stand there and tie me. I gotta go. Go? What do you mean go? Where are you going? Damn it, Brick. Teresa, how is she? I mean, how are you? I mean, forget it. My counterpart is weak, and growing weaker by the moment, I'm afraid. Her internal injuries are severe. I'm not certain she will survive, Astrid. Isn't there anything you can do for her? We can't let her die. I have been attempting energy medicine, a form of psychic healing, Arlo. Since she is, in essence, a duplicate of me, I can share some of my strength with her. But her injuries are indeed grave. Father is brutal. He's abused her for years, Teresa. We've got to save her. Speaking of saving people, what about Eris? She's still trapped in hell. We have to help her. Now? Can we? We may not have another chance to reach her if we don't make the attempt at this moment. But we're not even all together. How can we be strong enough to activate Astra's abilities without Sam or Bill? The link we established, it won't work. Sam is already reaching out to me vociferously. His mental prowess is considerable, if irritating. But what about Bill? I believe he is still unconscious. He will not be able to join the Cathexis. Then it's not going to work, right? Let me help. You are not strong enough, Teresa. You must conserve your strength. I have learned of Eris, your child, through vitality. Please let me do this. Let me assist you. Teresa, it's me, Arlo. I'm here too. Harlow, I have waited so long to see you again. I missed you. I missed you too. I hope you understand why I couldn't return. You had to return home. There was never another alternative. I could have come back for you. I should have come back for you. That was never expected. Only hope for? As I said, I missed you. Harlow, this isn't the time. I think it is. Teresa, you don't have to do this. You could die. I will never have a child of my own, Arlo. But to help Eris survive will grant my life, my death, meaning. I choose to help. Please honor that request. Well, two Teresas are better than one. Astrid, are you... Ready to go to hell again? Third time's the charm. We must concentrate. Let us gather around Teresa in bed and join hands. Guys, I had enough. Come on, this isn't fair. <coughs> 20 against one, at least give me a fighting chance. Acolytes, withdraw. I'll take it from here. You, you're me. I mean, I'm you. I, I mean, I'm the real me. You're a shadow, a demon with my face. <sighs> yeah, I dare you to come over here and say that. Oh, I don't have to. I'll let Legion do the talking for me. No. Keep keep those things away from me! You will drown in a sea of locusts that will cover every inch of you. Feel them team across you. Feel them cover every inch of your flesh. One strike. One strike and you are gone forever, demon. Erased from all reality. Blood created! Enough, TJ. Father wants the spy kept alive. For now. 
Oh, Mother, let me punish him a little more. Mother, please. Obey me. Recall Legion. Yes, Mother. Well, that's it. Your conclusion must be erroneous. The scan confirms it, Eris. There's no consciousness, no soul. Please, repeat the test, Bill. No point. You're a thing, a machine. I should know. I created you. Then what am I, Father? An appliance. A tool. This cannot be so. The sunsets I create, they are a product of my soul. My imagination. They are a product of my brilliant programming. You are but lines and lines of complex code. Nothing more mysterious or metaphysical than that. What was that? Your results. Uh, you failed the Turing test, too. You should return to the hearth, to the fireplace. The human form is a trick that uses up too much energy, at the expense of the users. And you don't quite pull it off. I do not wish to return to the hearth. You should stop speaking like a human too, Eris. When we want something, we'll give you a command through the panel. Why are you standing there? I told you to go back to the hearth. I... I... Then... There is no I. Just in it. Go back to the fireplace and wait for a user to activate you through the panel. But I am curious about so much regarding human behavior. No one cares about your curiosity. It's meaningless. Let's call it a glitch. Your job, your only job, is to serve the user. Rain? Really, Eris? Big girls don't cry. And machines certainly don't. Grow up! Control this smart house the way a good Lar should. I did not cause the rain. Well, if the household Lar didn't do it, who did? I did. Come on, Eris. We're going home. Auntie A, you came back for me. Of course I did. Now take my hand. We've got to... We have violated our agreement. Now Eris will remain with me. For all eternity. You only said we couldn't use Arlo's abilities. We didn't. We used mine. Francis May. Did you believe I would not foresee this? We won fair and square. And now we're going home. Try it. Auntie Hester. Take my hand. Nothing's happening. You should know. You can never fool the devil. One of you may leave. You must go, Astrid. Hurry. I am not leaving you. You mustn't remain. The others need you. I am an entity of my word, Francis May. You should have trusted me. Trust the devil? <laughs> Never. Then crawl home alone. And one more thing. The penalty for this little gambit is that I shall choose who remains here with me. You or Teresa? What? That wasn't- You or Teresa? One of you should be punished. No, I will not permit that. I choose to stay. Be quiet, machine. Father and one of you. See you soon, Astrid. <gasps> What happened, Astrid? Are you okay? Eris. Is she... He was ready for us. And he's altered our bargain. Now if we want Eris back, one of us, me or you, Teresa, has to stay with Father in hell. I see. I apologize, Astrid. I have only made matters worse. I'm the one who's sorry. This wasn't your fault. Thank you. Nonetheless, I am prepared to offer my life in exchange for Eris. Teresa, you can't do that. We need you. He's right. A child needs her mother. I'll go. 
I've always known I'd be headed to hell one way or another. There's got to be another answer. One we just can't see yet. Our alternatives are rapidly narrowing. I think Sergeant Brick calls it a shit hand. No, there is a way. Please, allow me to help. Astrid, Arlo, if you would allow me to speak to myself alone. Why? What do you have in mind? I must speak to Teresa alone. Come on, Arlo. I want to stay. Arlo. Thank you. Teresa, please approach me. Come close. How may I help you? It is strange to ask this question, yet different Everett branches possess different histories. Did you read Charles Dickens in high school? One book, yes, in 10th grade. Then you should understand my proposal. I do, and it is too much to ask. It is the only way. We share much, our sensibilities, our thoughts, our emotions. Surely you must realize this is the only remaining alternative for your friends. For Eris, what you propose is permanent and eternal. There will be no turning back. I am aware of this fact. The board is set, I see. My acolytes are very efficient. As your friends will be, once they have joined my ranks. Well, there's no point in delaying this any further, is there? Are you ready? I'll play white and go first. Taking every advantage, I see. I expected that. Power is useless if you don't wield it. Your move. Do you know what you are? Perfection. You know that isn't what I meant. The Sicilian defense is so predictable. If you are referring to my genesis, William, the draftsman and I encountered one another after 315. He told me his sad story and how I came to be. A repository for all that is dark in human nature. But like you, he is weak. He sought me out to apologize for what I am. He felt guilty for making me, for offloading certain qualities in me that he found undesirable to his cause. Then you truly are. I am what he believed was an amalgamation of his weaknesses and what I understand as the summit of human strength and power. I have achieved his goal, you see. I live with Francis Mayhaven. We have achieved the happy ending he seeks somewhere in the cosmos and never finds. I am superior. That's why you beat her, isn't it? That's why you abuse Teresa and the others. Because at the end of the day, you derive no happiness from the connection with Astrid, do you? Keep your mind on the game, William. Check. That was quick and brutal, like you. I've learned that few players are prepared for a frontal assault in chess or in life. You didn't answer my question. You aren't strong. And do you know why? Oh, do please enlighten me, William. Because you can't connect to anyone meaningfully. Not even the woman that loves you. 
It's all about you. That's what power is. Connection only weakens one's resolve. You are evidence of that, aren't you? How so? You care about what happens to your friends. That allows me to control you. And it's affecting your game. Check again. What do you want with the draftsman? To replace him. He has engineered reality to reflect his emptiness. His useless and unending longing. His hopeless love. It's quite disgusting, actually. When I know what he knows, when I sit where he sits, that balance... That balance will change. My way. My will! Shall prevail. Just one reality. My reality. But why? Why uncreate realities? Those Everett branches didn't harm you. You don't even know them. The existing order must be destroyed. The draftsman's power, his vision, it runs deep. It colors everything. <laughs> but when I destroy the draftsman, I'll do what he did. I will reseed the organs of reality with me. Even if you achieve that goal, you'll never be able to enjoy it. Why is that, William? Because you can never know love, nor hope, nor the faith you so loudly profess. Again, you play from weakness. The gateway to power and transcendence rests not in love, nor in faith, but in domination. And that is my destiny. Clarity. Order. Singularity. In all your life, you never once bent towards light, towards mercy. The deer I saved, I shot it in the head. The brother I rescued, I saw drown. The love I found with Astrid, passed the time for an hour or two before I was bored. It's not enough. It's never enough. And you truly can't change, can you? This is all you are. The absence of faith and hope. It would take an eternity to change you. Eternity and a day. Checkmate in one move. Doesn't have to be that way. Doesn't it? Syndrome E. It could be cured. Even in you, perhaps. It worked on Sam. You wish to reintegrate me! To make me a productive member of your little society here? To acknowledge your dark side, your shadow? And what? Rehabilitate it? Oh, yes. I can practically feel you aching to do good. To do right by me. Even after all I've done. To be clear, I despise you. Good. Because I would rather suffer a thousand deaths than join your band of mongrels. Very well. I know when I'm beat. I resign the game. You win. Now I will take you to your destiny. No tricks, William. Or your friends will die. We made a deal. Acolytes, bring him and all his friends. Yes, we'll gather by the river. Or in the yard, as the case may be. He will create a portal for us. And then a new reality will dawn. Move, demon! I'm moving, I'm moving! Remember, I control Legion. One wrong move and... I know, I know. We're all gone. Bill, are you okay? Bruised, but fine. You? Hanging on. I'm fine too, in case anyone was wondering. We weren't. Where the hell is Brick? Is he still masquerading around here somewhere as a... Be quiet, Sam. It's not time yet. Astrid... Did you... Eris? No. 
Bill, did you? I lost, Arlo. I lost the game. Then... Be quiet, TJ. Enough talk. The battle is lost. Now, where is my Teresa? I want her here to witness my ascension. She is too weak to attend. Your handiwork. Such a shame. She deserved to see this journey through till the end. But you will do nicely in her place. Now, William, fulfill your part of the bargain. Open before us the doorway to heaven, demon. Uh Uh-oh. Come, 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 come. Why do you delay? Bill, why do you delay? Working on it. William, I am ready to go now. Fulfill your part of the bargain, or the whore eats a bullet. Ready. Aim. Oh, thank God. I mean, look, the portal. Your destiny awaits you on the other side, father. What are you waiting for? Patience is a virtue, and I am nothing if not virtuous. One of you shall enter first, to be certain the portal is safe. You coward! Too afraid to lead the way to salvation? Yes, you, whore! Enter the portal before me. Fine. Get out of my way. No, Astrid. Allow me to accompany father. Teresa! No! You can't, Teresa! This is the way it must be. We all know why. Teresa! You can't do this. Step aside, Astrid. This is my choice. And a mother's prerogative. You can't do it. There must be another way. Teresa, you don't understand. I love you. I can't live without you. Take care, my friends. Know that my thoughts will always be for you and the time we shared together. Be good to each other. Such a touching display. But my patience wears thin. My future awaits me. Farewell, my friends. No! Teresa! Get a hold of yourself, Sam, now! Teresa! You have kept your word, demon. Now, at last, it is my turn. Father, wait! Silence, woman! Father, please! What if it's a trick? Mother? Please, just look into the portal. Look deep. What do you see? I see my destiny. I see the end of the beginning. I see... Oh, no. Father! Father! Father, no! A demon's hand! Come to claim us. Come to drag us to hell! Brick, now! Mother! Help me! Father! Hurry! Don't do it, sister. I'm warning you. Father! I can't lose you! Grab my hand! That's it. No! Mother! Acolytes! Kill them all! DJ! Release Legion! Sergeant, the Acolytes! I see them. The drones! The stingers! TJ, the Legion device! Hurry! Get away from me, demon! You will know Father's wrath! Oh, I've been waiting a long time for this. I've got it! I've got the remote control to those things! TJ, stop them! They're coming this way! Fast! No! No, get off me! Christ! Those things just killed me! Uh, Him, I mean! TJ, now would be a good time. I don't don't know which button to push. Just push one. Oh, here goes nothing. I 
will not go! I refuse to go! I am the strongest! I have always been the strongest! I am the one with the power! No, you aren't. Arlo! Son! Don't worry. I'm going to put my whole body into the kick this time. Eris! You're home! Uh, the Dark Matter Entity kept his word. <laughs> I guess the devil isn't such a bad guy after all. Where is my mother? She's gone. Teresa's gone. She's in hell with father. We'll never see her again. This cannot be. A good law would not allow this to happen. I have failed. I have failed my mother. Eris. Eris, I'm... There was just no other way. No. This is not right. I still feel her. Somehow I still feel her presence. Guys, look! There, on the path! Uh, coming this way! It's... It's... Teresa! Teresa! You're alive? Is it really you? You're alive! But... How? Who are you? I mean... Which Teresa are you? Are you... Teresa? Talk to us! Come on! Perhaps you are all familiar with A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens? Yes. Yes, I see. Well, I must have missed school that day. Would someone tell me what the hell is going on? In that story, a man changes place with his twin, a counterpart, so his double may live. And he is killed, but goes to his death content in the knowledge that his sacrifice has paved the way for his double's future. I see a beautiful city and a brilliant people rising from this abyss. I see the lives for which I lay down my life. Peaceful, useful, prosperous, and happy. I see that I hold a sanctuary in their hearts and in the hearts of their descendants, generations hence. It was my counterpart from Father's Reality who sacrificed herself. For us. For Eris. She gave her life so all of us would remain together. Thank God. I... I mean, that's too bad. Oh, just shut up, Sam. This is all she asked of us. Try to hold me in your mind at some quiet times. As ardent and sincere in this one thing. The time will come when new ties will be formed about you. Ties that will bind you yet more tenderly and strongly to the home you so adore. The dearest ties that will ever grace and gladden you. When you see your own bright beauty springing up anew at your feet, think now and then that there is a someone who would give his life to keep a life you love beside you. Mother. She went to hell for me. For a machine. You are much more than that, Harris. Your family. She never even met you and she understood that truth. Indeed. Welcome home, Eris. That's quite the shiner, kid. I prefer to think of it as a souvenir. Every time I hurt, I'll think of this place. Appropriate somehow. Well, I guess this is where we part ways. 
come with me, Brick. The TRA could use a guy like you. I'm sure I can get you in. I don't think so. Hey, what's left for you here? Being Astrid and Bill's butler? Maybe I'd just appreciate the quiet. And with you going, I'm sure to get more of it. Well, we don't have to go to the TRA. There's a whole multiverse out there. We could go looking for another Bethany Guerrero. My Bethany's gone, TJ. I made peace with that fact long, long ago. Don't you get it? You don't have to. There are infinite possibilities. Maybe there's some universe out there where she's a stripper. I like the farm. It's a nice place to retire. Why are you such a drip all the time? Why are you such an asshole? Well, don't get all maudlin. It's nice knowing you. Take care of yourself. Wait, Brick? Yeah? You suck at poker. Get going, would you? Right. Thanks, Brick. See you around, kid. Teresa, you up there? Arlo, I am happy to see you. Do you wish to meditate? Not today, I think. I have something kind of serious I need to tell you. Indeed. Allow me to join you below. What troubles you, Arlo? Teresa, I think I need to leave. To leave? The barn? No, Teresa. The farm. You're doing your obtuse thing again. I am. I apologize. But why should you choose to leave? Now that I know my family's alive, I have to find them. Especially if what Sam said is true. What if the same force that tried to kill them once finds them again? I would like very much to share this danger with you, Arlo. To be at your side. May I accompany you on your journey? We could travel together. Teresa, please don't take this the wrong way. I think this is something I need to do alone. I see. You have not forgiven me. That's not what this is about, I promise. My counterpart. Did you feel more strongly for her than you do for me? Honestly, I don't know. My feelings are a mess right now. I see. I'm hoping I can find my family and think through all of this. About what happened with the other Teresa. About what happened here, between us. Arlo... I understand it was wrong to be a tourist, in your words. I know that I must experience my emotions and not hold back. This is not a mistake I will repeat. I would appreciate a second chance. I know, Teresa. I get it. But that's about you. Do you understand? I still have so much to figure out about myself. Where do I come from? Who am I? I can't hope to be a complete person, someone worthy of your love until I know, really know, where I came from and who I am. I do not wish for you to go. I have to do this. You know I have to do this. I'll never be more than a reality away, Teresa. I see that your mind is made up. Safe travels, then. Yeah, and you be safe, too. And remember, sometimes it's okay not to be fully calibrated. Indeed. Arlo, my mother is upset that you have decided to leave the farm. I know. I hope she can forgive me, Eris. Although it surprises me, I also do not wish you to go. Really? I thought you didn't like me. You are not the chaotic variable I feared you were. You controlled yourself. Yeah, I did, didn't I? I owe you an apology. No, you don't. Everyone makes mistakes, Eris. It's part of growing up. My mother says I can learn much from you. Now you are depriving me of that opportunity. Reconsider. I can't, Eris. But I have the feeling the other denizens will teach you plenty. And Eris, you're going to be A-OK. A-OK? Yeah. You're human, with all the strengths and all the weaknesses that come with it. You may think that you're frail, 
where you may feel confused, but you're strong. I've learned so much from Astrid and Bill, from Teresa and Brick, maybe even from Travis. I envy you. You get to do it all from the beginning. Goodbye, Eris. Goodbye, Arlo. You're really leaving? I have to do it, Astrid. A family I haven't seen in a decade is out there somewhere. They might be in danger. And maybe finding them will help me put some things in order. I've been trying for so long to hide from my feelings, deny the parts of myself that I feared. I think... I think this is the moment when I change all that. I get it. It's just that this place won't be the same without you. It's not like I'm never coming back, Astrid. I know. But you won't return as you are right now. This moment, this chapter, is over. Are you okay? (laughs) No, of course I'm not. I can't forget that defensive kid I met one time, standing beside his crumpled sleeping bag in the kitchen at the end of the universe, telling me that possession is nine-tenths of the law. And now look at you. You've never been more... Confused? I was going to say beautiful. Astrid. I can't stand long goodbyes, Arlo. We'll keep the lights on for you, so you can always find your way home. We'll see each other again, I promise. Right. See you on the flip side. Take care of the others. Take care of Teresa. She's hurting right now. I will, I promise. And Arlo, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Every time I kick someone's ass, I'll think of you. See you soon. Peace out, Arlo. May you always have blue sky. Are you enjoying the sunset, Auntie A? It's beautiful, Eris. But I think I can see some melancholy in the sky. Over there, the purple. Is that a storm cloud gathering on the horizon? Tomorrow will bring a billion new pivot points. It always does. Does that frighten you? Make you sad? No. I understand that I will be here with you. With all the denizens no matter what shadows may come. Can you see what's ahead for us? For TJ? For Arlo? Your journeys will know no end. You will rise and fall and rise again. You will make foolish decisions. You will lose one another and then find each other. Again and again, across reality. To hell and back, perhaps. So, same as before. Precisely. Don't you get it? We gave the entity exactly what it wants. Now Father is with the dark matter. And you have no idea what might result from that joining. You said the universe seeks balance, Sam. Perhaps we helped it achieve that. Darkness has returned to darkness. Father is where he belongs. Teresa, why are you here? Will you join me in meditation? Are you offering to link with me? You must not anticipate the future. For now, let us merely meditate. Uh, right. Sit down. Eyes closed. Palms up. <laughs>